my first time trying to talk over one of the videos, so we'll see how this goes. Um, this first video you're seeing here is at only 500 milliwatts out of the 800 available. Um, flying, oh god, I'd say at least a good 200 meters away from myself right now, as low as possible behind all this metal. Um, you'll see where we were standing in a minute, but um, I like the, the, the responsive colors. Um, you'll see like how green certain things look at certain times and how blue the sky can look. I'll give you a quick contrast example of what the um, all-in-one from Happy Model looks like at 400 milliwatts. The, the color grading isn't quite the same. Mind you, this Darwin Baby Ape has a, a Cadex Ant camera, so that might be contributing to the color palette a little bit. But other than that, I've been quite impressed with both the range and the the, the color contrast that I'm getting in the, in the screen here. Um, moving on to the second video here. Um, take a quick note at the, the yellow color in the little area there. That's actually the brightness of the lights with these guys playing with a little RC car. The blues on the door and the greens on that dumpster I notice are um, a lot more vibrant than certain other analog video transmitters. It's a little uh, uh, richer in the color palette at least in my opinion. Here I'm just checking out to see how bad the, the potholes of water are and see where I should and shouldn't be doing my tricks. But um, there's not too many tricks in this video. I mean, I'm doing flips and shit here, but that's not a, not a big deal. Um, this was supposed to be more of a, a talking about how the, the video looks and how the um, lighting pattern, or lighting grading looks. Uh, the little bit of flicker that you're seeing, I'm not sure if that's coming from just like generic interference. It's only a 5 volt transmitter that goes up to 800 milliwatts, so keep that in mind. Uh, I don't have, um, what would you call that, a, um, an, a filtered 5 volt 2 amp pad or whatever you want to call that. This is just, um, the generic 5 volt pad off of a Darwin Baby Ape, so that's probably contributing to some of the video questionable flickering here at close range. But if you keep, if you can just look past that, like most analog pirate uh, pirates pilots do, um, you'll you'll be able to see that it's quite. Well, it's definitely flyable, but it looks quite a bit better than the the next clip I'll have to show you here. Uh, coming up here, I do something that I probably shouldn't be doing. And then I say, "Oh yeah, look at that. That that looked easy. Let me let me just do that again. Let me let me let me say that was a good idea to myself and say, "Oh, that was cool, right? Look at me. I'm a fucking professional." And then this happens, and I overshoot it, and I commit, and I still made it because yeah, that was a bad idea. Shouldn't have done that. That I almost watched my my baby ape explode in stunning analog, so that was going to be fun. <laughs> So now we're going to move on to the next clip, and that's going to be of me diving the crane, I believe. Yeah, here it is. I gotta, I'm got building the video as I speak here. It's probably not the best idea. I should speak over the whole video. But hey, it is what it is. We're here in fucking real time. Turn that down, and you'll notice that the darkness on my neighbor's vehicle and the trailer there, um, and the browns here, they look nice. Uh, the moss on the roof is very green. That yellow building that's about to be ripped down, that's very nice and vibrant. I like that. Um, just, just little things of how all the colors just seem to pop when you're getting nice, clean video. And uh, the higher you get, the cleaner the video seems to get. It likes flying higher than it does lower. Obviously, it's video transmitter stuff, but if you're if you just like focus on the scenery and like say that crane that we just passed down there, that was a nice color. The color screening on the building to the to the right side there, you can see the red and the blue even from this distance, and they're they're decently rich colors. This is a windy day, mind you, so I'm gonna get blown away from the crane while I try and dive it, do a little flip. And we'll see just how fast the wind was blowing because I make it home in less than like 30 seconds or less here. Even with some front flips and back flips, we're 
we're still just flying here and we're basically already back so yeah that was how windy it was and then we stop put in a little couple tricks here um, one other thing to mention is uh, it doesn't add too much weight to the baby ape if you were thinking of putting it in something small it's it only being a 5 volt transmitter it only went up 2 grams after taking out the other one um, I had a video about me talking about how the SMA connectors shouldn't be used on anything under I'd say a 4 inch probably it just uh, adds too much back heavy weight and whatnot, but I uh, I didn't like it, so I took it away. Um, as you'll see here, uh, we get a little bit of flickering low on the other side of the fence, but I think that's just something to do with the way low flying works. A um, little bump. Uh, we got a little bit of interference here at the low end, but I just pull out of it. It doesn't like my little building complex here and then we come in for a quick landing battery was almost gonna die here but yeah no um all in all i think this is a nice um video transmitter for the for the size and the voltage and the price i mean i paid uh, about 50 something canadian pesos for it and that wasn't overly expensive for me for the performance that i've been getting Video transmitters aren't cheap. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope this helped you make a decision. Thanks for watching to, to the end of today's video. Here's your treat. Here's your trick. And there's his treat.